Call the July 1st regular Dixon County Mission meeting to order. Please stand for the flag salute. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. We have two additions to the agenda, and it's with the past resolution to amend the a camp bylaws and the other addition would make it changes to the grade scale grade scale moving con correction officers one from 13 to 14 and the other correction officer positions accordingly i make the motion to approve the agenda as amended i'll second that been moved and second any other discussion if not all those in favor say aye uh, we'll make them notice that uh, Commission Peterson's uh, not here today. Uh, he's taking a day off, I guess, would be the taking a day of vacation. Uh, the consent agenda, minutes of the June 24th meeting, fund expenditures of $1,302,574.84 with wire payments, SD, 3760 Dollars and no cents. Utilities of eight thousand twenty-four dollars and ninety-nine cents. Abatement of eight hundred thirty-seven twenty. I move to approve the consent agenda. Been moved and seconded. Any other discussion? If not, all those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed. Motion carried. Commissioner comments. Uh, Ron. I did spend a little time yesterday uh, with Trevor Witt from the City Commission here in Abilene just to get familiar with who he was and he. He didn't know who I was, so we basically got to introduce ourselves and talk about things that we're interested in, in our communities. Both of us obviously are interested in our communities and to help our communities. He's looking forward to working with the county, and the uh, county obviously is working, looking forward to working with the city. So I appreciated the the, uh, the visit we had yesterday, and, and uh, I think we'll get a lot out of it. Thank you, Ron. Uh, in our work session today, uh, the fair board members were in. Uh, some of the problems or the issues with not being able to use drill hall. Uh, they're wanting to provide air conditioning for a couple of events that are coming up and we've uh, given the approval to do that using some of the AAR, ARA money. Uh, Cindy McDonald's in uh, from the district court uh, spoke about their under budget so far this year. Some of the, the challenges and being out of Stroh Hall, which they like some of it and some of it's not so good. Uh, and then she spoke about the selection process for the district judges. Uh, Sheriff Hornet, Sheriff, under Sheriff Hornaday and Sheriff Davis were in there talking to us about the corrections or change we're gonna make on the grade scale for the correction officers. Any public comments that we'd want to have made by anybody watching? Nope, got one. Uh, Rhonda? Yeah, let's see. If I can. We're having trouble getting you on here, Rhonda. I think she's on. Yeah. You might have to unmute your side. Well, it looks like she's muted. Can you hear me now? Yep. Yep, we hear you. Go ahead, Rhonda. Okay. Uh, name and address and vote address. Name Rhonda address. Beaupre, 201 Northeast 8th Street, Abilene, Kansas. Uh, if I understand the work session correctly, it sounds like the um, the air conditioning for the armory is going to run somewhere between eight and $10,000. Uh, perhaps more when you include the diesel fuel for the generator. And so I'm wondering if anybody 
has an idea what will it cost for permanent air conditioning in that building since you're going to spend that much money uh if it's that's just a temporary situation for two events if i understand correctly if there are going to be more events this year and of course next year perhaps it's wiser to get an estimate what it would cost for a permanent air conditioning solution for that building and if it's not that much more that would be a more economical solution would it not well i'm, I'm going to respond to this uh, Rhonda. it's a government-owned building and we're only using it for two events and i i don't think the fair board is planning on having anything more and if it does it will be in the cooler weather we hope to be out of hope to have the remodeling done at the courthouse so we can move out of Stroh Hall no later than the first of the year. Okay, I follow that. Thank you for the explanation. Yep, you're welcome. And, and just a clarification, yep. the, the quote was for $3,800 for the air conditioning plus whatever the diesel fuel will be extra. So I think they were talking maybe 7,000 total. Right. For, for the well, the most, events. yeah. Yeah, the most it would be, so it's not quite that and, much, but so. And, um, and Brad, I don't know if you were listening to the American Recovery money we got, we used for that, and and some of this was, it was meant to to put it back in the economy to be used in that way. Anything else from anybody? Well, thank you, Rhonda. <laughs> Moving on, county administrators. County administrator, Brad, you wanna give your report? Sure. Uh, just a little update on the on the first round of, of COVID monies we got. The second project, the first obviously was the restrooms out of Stroh Hall, which have been completed for a while. Uh, just an update on the second project, which is the uh, PPE building down at the county yard. Uh, the guys were installing the utilities there this week. And uh, once the utilities are connected up, why well, it's pretty well done. So if you haven't been by there, we'll drive by or, or one of these meetings we need to go look at it and, and uh, we'll go out to some other things, but it turned out really well and we'll be able to start storing items in there. So uh, John completed uh, an RFP yesterday for uh, a new ambulance for the 2022 build. Uh, obviously we've already purchased the chassis as you're aware, but uh, he did put the RFP out. I think it's been put on the website now. He sent it out to four or five vendors uh, to give them the opportunity to bid on that. And uh, those are due back in Barb's office in the near future. Um, paving, the guys completed uh, Rain Road north of Upland uh, earlier this week. They spent uh, a little bit of yesterday, kind of got rained out up there, believe it or not, but they're gonna be working on 3,400 decks to get the, the uh, blowouts taken care of and prepare it. They'll go ahead and pave 3,400 first and then they'll come back and do Rain Road south of Upland uh, to finish up the paving. So they'll start on that uh, Tuesday on 3400. So, uh, And then uh, in your package, you've got the quarterly report from KCAMP, which uh, shows our insurance claims. And, and uh, you know, you, if you kind of go, got to go at it in reverse order, but for the most part, our, our insurance claims in the last year or so have actually been down somewhat. So which I'm, I'm glad to say. So uh, hopefully we continue continue in that trend. And I will say a couple of them we've had been act of God. So yeah. lightning damage and things, stuff that we really had no control over. So that's that stuff happens. The last thing I've got is a reminder that the staff barbecue, appreciation barbecues tomorrow from 1130 to 130 on the East End of the Civic Center. And we encourage you guys to, to come to that. So that's all I've got. Any questions, Ron? Uh, no questions. Doug? I have nothing, thank you. Uh, we have no notice of communications. We do have one resolution. Uh, that is to uh, consideration of resolution to approve the amended KCAMP bylaws. This is an update to KCAMP's bylaws. Uh, they provided all the documentation to us. Uh, I looked through the changes. There's two agreements there that agreed to that that both need your signature after the resolution too. Uh, I didn't. They're, they're all cleaning up language and verbiage and stuff for the most part. Nothing, nothing that substantially changes any of our coverage. So, which is something they do every year in January. So, 
Any questions, Ron? No questions. Make a motion to approve the resolution to amend the key camp bylaws. And I'll second that resolution. Been moved and seconded. Any other discussion? If not, all those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Um, when I, I'll sign these later, Barb, but- uh, If you I'm, sign them, I'll change the name. Okay, okay. Minute. I've got Lynn's name on there. Uh, yep. Okay. I can change that. I'll sign them here after we get done here then. Okay. That's all the resolutions, no un unfinished business. And the other addition we had was making changes to the grade scale for the extension officers. Uh, Diane, you wanna kind of highlight that for us? Jerry had brought a proposal uh, to you to change the name from detention officer to correction officer and increase their pay grade scale. And we met in a, a meeting yesterday and determined that we what we would like to see is corrections officers move from grade 13 to grade 14 and then all, uh, and then adjusting the rest of the corrections positions accordingly up the pay grade and to increase their wages uh, 7% according, you know, the positions that we have. And the, the motion is going to be to approve that to be effective immediately. Yes. I mean, that's Jerry, anything you'd like to add to it? I don't think so. I think she's covered it all. We, we all come into, into an agreement yesterday. So I think that's what we need to do at this point. And the ultimate purpose being to attract some. Yeah. Absolutely. You know, we, we statutorily, Jerry's required to, to operate the jail. And we don't, that's a choice we don't have. We have to operate a jail. But the problem is, much like many employers, we're having difficulty attracting applicants. We're short staffed and we don't have any applicants. So that, that's what has driven us. So. Well, I'll make the motion to change the, the grade scale from 13 to 14 and make it effective immediately with an increase of 7% their base pay, which I forgot the, the amended motion. And I'll second that. And move the second. Any other discussion? We just happened to fall on July 1st. That's why it's effective immediately. It's not the first. <laughs> if no other questions, all in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carried. Anything else come before the commission today? We're not, didn't beat a record here. We're, you know, 11 minutes. I accept the motion to adjourn. I'll second that. So moved. All in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion carried. And adjourn.